Okay, that's that should work. I uh hold on now it's fixed. All right, just doing a quick live stream here. I had a few packages to go through for some unboxings. And uh let's see. Uh no second here. Uh, I gotta let the uh, hat group know that I'm up. I'm up, up, and away. There we go. So hopefully, there we go. Um, Got to fix a few things here. All right. Um, got a few boxes here, packages, really. Uh, and yes, this is a dad hat, so it's supposed to be a uh, package and kind of crushed like that. Um, I paid, yeah, I paid $10 for it, but it's an older hat. Wearing my Cubs... 19, was it? I think this one is a 1911, 1911 or 1914 hat. This one fit a little bit better because I've been doing some reorganizing with my um, big tower shelf here. And that's for another video for another day. Um, we have hats. We have Mr. Brewer. So we have one like already. And we'll be going up. Open. Let's just open this one first. Now this one. Big package. So. Oh my. Uh, so. The, the shape of the head is fine. Because it's a semi-structured hat. It's a semi-dad uh, hat. Um, so, I have been wanting to do a sub-collection of hats that are presidential campaign related. And this one I saw I look, uh, originally, originally Red Fan Florida, hello. Uh, make sure you say hi to uh, Hats, PhD, and Clay Brewer. Um, and looking at the campaign hats that I saw on eBay, there was one that was for like 10 bucks with the shipping all together. And like, okay, I'll go for it. Uh, pretty cheap, so why not? Another hat just for historic sake. And the, the structure of the hat is fine. I mean, I'm not going to wear the hat really too often, but just to say I have a hat, um, it's fine. But, I mean, when you're going to send a hat out, then, geez. At least put the lint roller on. There's so much hair on here. I mean, that's disgraceful. I mean, maybe in the pictures, and yes, it's a Mitt Romney hat from 2012. Um, yeah, I mean, probably in the pictures it'll show the hair, but it's like, they could have cleaned this off, off themselves. Now, for these just-in-case moments here, I do have a, a brush. I'll do it away from my work desk here. Like I can't do, tell if this is like hat hair or I mean head hair or cat hair or dog hair. But jeez, jeez, lovelies, that's rude. Let's see here. Complaining. Ugh, well. Uh, depressed Jets fans and depressed Jets fan. Uh, they made yes, it would be cool to get a um hats for the reverse. I'm sure they. To be honest, I'm sure they will. Like they, I mean, they do have those um uh, jerseys. NBA City Edition, NBA City Edition 
jerseys and the hats do come out. So I've been waiting for the hats for that collection to come out, but we'll just keep waiting for that. Um, for me, the Islanders just gave no shits at all. The Islanders did not care. They changed the tone of the blue to darker, kind of like a navy. Not so much a navy, but just a darker, deeper blue. It, it was pathetic. Um, the one I liked a lot was the... Um, well, I think that was really good to do the retro for the Ducks, Anaheim Ducks. Um, the St. Louis Blues one was interesting. It was red. Um the I think the winner was the Minnesota Wild as the Minnesota North Stars. Uh, I like the Vegas one. It had the secondary logo on the chest, and it was red. Um, yeah, they should have gone with the Gorton's Fisherman, the fish stick jersey. That would have been so much greater to have the fish stick jersey. Um, I heard when I watched the hockey guy do his review so far and given the grades. He said, with the Blackhawks, it was like a C plus, Primar primarily because he's seen the logo before. He has the uh, a similar jersey. I'm like, yeah, that's kind of fair. Um, I find it funny how for most of the jerseys, the retro reverse jerseys, they show every jersey they show the front of, except for the Blackhawks. Why? Because they have the older 1940s Blackhawk head which is the Native American logo on the front. So they're trying to avoid controversy. Pussies. Wimps. Um, Flames was pretty good. Devils, yes. Devils also won. Devils won. Were one of the top three, I think. Maybe top, yeah, top three, if not top five. Hartford Whalers was pretty good. Quebec Nordiques was really good. Um, Dallas Stars, eh. Uh, let me look at them again, just so I have a better reference. Um, Oilers, boring. Uh, Kings basically did it in um, Lakers colors, which was pretty good, actually. The Sharks was pretty good. I like the Sharks. Um, it seemed like a regular retro, not just a reverse retro. Oh, they did the, um, the Coyote, finally. They did the Peyote Coyote. Uh, that's a, a huge one. That's going to go over really well. Um, stay on topic. Well, I was answering a question from one of the uh, from one of our viewers, Mister ML Hat PHC. So I'm going to listen to the fans here. Um, Blue Jacks was eh. Pittsburgh was boring. Uh, Rangers brought back the um, Liberty Lady Liberty. The Capitals Eagle was pretty cool. Um, Flyers, boring. Um, Bolts was retro. Was it like out of, was it a step up above retro like some of these other jerseys? Not really, but it's still a good logo at least. It's still, it's still better than the Islanders. Um, but no, the Tampa Bay Lightning did do a good job. The Senators did a good job too. Maple Leafs is kind of boring now that I'm looking at it. Uh, Canadians went with a Navy jersey. The um, Jets, kind of boring. Oh, they do have... They do have the um, Blackhawk logo on the NHL Twitter. I mean, Instagram. Uh, Nat Predators was pretty good. The Orca for the Canucks was also a nice one. Where the Ombre, the uh, shading effect. All right. Um... Let's go into another hat. Um, this one's supposed to be a 50 out of 50. It's a little bit smaller of a box than I would expect, but let's see what how it turned out. Let's see. Um, uh, Mr. Hats, PHC, how did you like the retro reverse jerseys? Okay. So far, it looks pretty good. Okay. No, this is this. It's smaller. Didn't care. 
That's cute. Um, so this one I got off of eBay as well, in the box here. This one is shipped pretty well. Nice. Oh no, this is nice. Nicely shipped. Eh, a little off center with the, the logo and the brim, but I can always fix that up. I mean, I got it for twenty bucks. I need to. <laughs> this is loose as hell. Even okay, no. Oh my god, this is loose. This is absolutely loose. This is insanely loose. This is insanely loose. Well, not like insanely, but no, this is this is loose. Yeah, this is uh yeah, 20 bucks, I know. It was made in the USA, too. So, yeah, that's a cool reason to, to have it. Maybe I'll send it to Hats. So, maybe it can fit his big-ass head. His big-ass fat head. So, yeah. I've been, try I've been trying to get a um, Nats hat like that. Two-toned. So, oops. So, we'll see uh, how I can recover from that. Or maybe I'll put it on eBay, eBay myself. Eh, who knows? Maybe it'll do a return. Because um, it, did, it didn't fit like a regular 5 ace. Yeah, I mean, no consistency. I know with Hat Club, with the Green Eggs and Ham Hats, those, had, those ran big. Some of the other hat collections run small. Um, so, yeah, it depends on also where it's made. So it's, a, it's all over the place, which is kind of frustrating. But, like, Fitted Insider sometimes does is he sizes down so that he can stretch out the hat, which makes sense. But I'm not as committed to that um, practice. But we'll, uh, we'll work on shrinking that, maybe. We'll maybe toss it in the oven. And then we'll work on it. We'll uh, figure it out. All right, so let's go to the last two hats here in the brand 47 box here. And where I put my knife. There it is. So I ordered one hat that I know, which is a Buffalo Bills retro hat. So spoiler there, because the other hat is a surprise hat. This is when uh, 47 brand or brand 47 was doing a 30% off sale. So I had to get in on that because I'm trying to work on more dad hats. So I figured, well, normally that kind of total would be $25 for a regular dad hat and $16 for the Buffalo Bills hat and $16 for the mystery hat. Why it's a lower price that much for a mystery hat, it's kind of weird, to be honest. I because a normal cleanup hat is $25 and then the mystery hat is 16. And it's like maybe like 20 would have made sense, but I, it's a cheaper hat that way. So, but you don't get the choice of what it is. So I'm going to do the best I can and not look at the hat or what's in the box. And then we'll see what I grab out. I could take a guess on the uh, based on the logo. Okay, so I'll pull out the the bill hat first. Nice retro. <laughs> See Gordon, nice, nice. Uh, everyone, Gordon is a uh, one of our newer members to uh, the Air Force, right, Matt? So um, he's going to be in the band there. So congrats, man. I know I had heard about it. Uh, sorry, Navy. I know it was the military, um, but Matt, really huge congrats to you. I know that you've been one of the best players that I've known. I mean, I've known a few other good players, but in this high of caliber, uh, that's huge for anyone and absolutely deserved it. 
and um, send us tickets for your first in-person concert because we'll want to see you. Uh, I expect a um, euphonium um, concerto. Um, the one, the 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 one Doug Barr did. I can't think of the guy who wrote it. I think oh, I want to say Philip, but I want to say Philip Glass, but that's totally wrong because the, the euphonium concerto I'm thinking of is too good to be written for Philip Glass. Sparky, okay, okay. I, I knew that I had played that. It's like kind of like a military march kind of concerto. Very great piece to play background to. And the piece, the solo part itself is really good. Um, it's just that year it wasn't done by a good player. Anyways, so this is the mystery hat. That's not the mystery hat. This is the mystery hat. Um, my last mystery hat wasn't so good. It was a military one. Not that I'm against it, but it's just not my coloring. So let's see what we get. Huh. Simple shamrock hat. That's not too bad. I mean, I didn't expect it to be a like a non uh, sports team. I mean, this is more of a um, holiday kind of hat rather than a Celtics hat, because otherwise it would have said Celtics on here. Um, of course, I love the green. That's the best part about this. It's a nice. Um, it's a nicer green on in person than the camera. The camera makes it look like looks like it's a um, Philadelphia Eagles green, but it's not. It's like it's not a teal like that. It's a good Kelly green. So to be honest, I'm not a you know I'm not like ecstatic about it because it's not a sports hat, but it's still a nice hat. Um, but the other thing is I don't really celebrate um, St. Patrick's Day, so. Maybe my sister will want it because she's into Ireland all the time. She went to Ireland for a uh, study abroad program uh, a while back, a few years ago. So um, I did some recording today with my uh, with my tower here. So you'll see what it looks like in, uh, once I'm done with the edits. Um, a lot more recording than I thought it was going to be. But um, working on that, working on a crown clean video. I don't know why the uh, crown clean. I'm working on a review video for that. It's shot in 4K, so it's going to be the best looking review for the crown wipes, crown clean people uh, out there on YouTube. Um, and working on a holiday video already shopping guide video so that way when you you tell someone hey when someone asks you what do you want for christmas you say a hat and if they say well what kind of hat do you want then you just send them this video that i'm going to make and it'll explain you know all the things with hats about the different brands the different sizes the different styles um where to get them uh, certain sales that go on. So that's one video I've been wanting to do for the last two years, actually, ever since I started the channel. But every time I've had um, physical or I've had technological constraints, so I haven't um, had the chance to do it and I hadn't had the time. But now I do. So we're going to work on those videos coming up and do a um, review video of the whole year recap sometime before the end of the year um so this will be officially hat number well we'll add at least three hats to the collection here i don't know what i'm gonna do with the national tag that one yeah that one is really rough um i mean it was sent in great condition though great box but it's just way too big so I'll see what I can do with the guy, um, how I can work it out with him. Um, that's really it. Um, I did order two hats from Macy's last night, a snapback and a fitted logo element hat. And then right now on Macy's, uh, cleanup hats are 15 bucks. So I'm going to get, I'm going to go try to get at least 
two or three. We'll see how that turns out. Um, I'm thinking of a Oga hat, maybe um, a Purdue hat. So we'll see what I can find um, for that. So going to wrap up the video here. It's only been 20 minutes, but just wanted to do a short unboxing. Uh, so uh, thank you to everyone for tuning in, for watching. Um, and of course, thank you to Matthew Gordon for chiming in. Congrats to him for his Navy acquirement of a seat with the Navy band. He's playing. He's, he's high end. He's top notch. So as always, hats off to you. See you the next time. And go Bears tonight. Hopefully, hopefully we can get a win.